Okay. 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 The staff give each right. turtle a name, but before Harriet, as she's now called, can undergo surgery, X-rays are taken to establish the extent of her tumours. If any have spread inside her body, there will be nothing more we can do. Looks like these are barnacles, and they're very distinct. Uh, I don't see any tumours in here, which is yeah. looks good. Nice and clear. It's a little white in here. Yeah. I don't like. Well, let me show you one that looks that from a, what they look like when they're really bad. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. See all of these nodules? Yeah. Those are all tumors. Yeah. So this one, when I say it looks clean, she looks relatively very clean yeah. inside, except for these two little spots. Yeah. So I'd rather mm. Doug look at those and let's see what he thinks. Right, yeah. Doug Maida is a local veterinarian who specializes in the removal of tumors by laser. Like the rest of the team, he donates his time and expertise for free. Want to turn the nitrous and the oxygen on? She has that one questionable spot in her, probably in her lungs. And we'll go in with the endoscope. Um, if she's negative, which is what we're hoping, then we'll sew that up. It's a small incision and mm. very little discomfort or pain. And we'll take the laser and remove the external. Take these ones. Yeah. Okay. Anesthetizing an animal that can hold its breath for up to 20 minutes is never going to be a breeze. And what we'll do is stimulate the back here. If you'll wiggle his tail just a little bit, that'll make him take a breath. And that just gets, gives her an encouragement. <gasps> and when it does that, she'll take a breath. An endoscope passed into Harriet's body cavity will allow us to visually examine the external surfaces of her lungs. Hopefully, we'll find no tumours. There's her intestines. Yep. Are you all right, Steve? Okay. Yep. OK, and there's the back of the lung right there. Mm -hmm. That's the area where the tumour would be. Yeah. Uh -huh. And there's no tumour. Oh, oh good. That's great. That's brilliant. Those are all eggs, OK? That's Those are hopefully yeah. little baby turtles that will be out there for our grandkids. That's to see. Yeah. Now we're going to roll her back over, disconnect her. It's good news. We can now use surgery to remove the external tumours. This is a delicate procedure. The tumours are thought to be related to the herpes virus and therefore potentially highly contagious. This is a space-aged sort of uh, vacuum cleaner and it's actually designed to remove virus particles from the air um, because when we're actually cauterising these lumps off, if the virus is in there, the herpes virus, we could breathe it in. That's, again, same reason why we're, um, <laughs> we're wearing the, the masks as well. You won't see a red beam. Yeah. The wavelength of this is above visible light, so it's beyond what your eyes and my eyes can see. Okay. But it's still there, and that's yeah. why we're wearing protective goggles, because let's say the laser were to hit a sharp scalpel blade mm -hmm. and reflect off, it could still hit your eye and damage your eye. Okay. So the, yeah. the glasses will protect your face. Yeah. Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. That sort of distance okay? That's fine, just try not to touch it. Yeah. You can see it cutting, but you can't see the laser itself. Not at all, no, that's amazing. Sue, can you give me some saline? Okay, now, this is me magic. Mm -hmm. This is called a defocus beam. Now watch the wound in general. Watch it shrink up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Isn't that neat? It'll be about half the size of the original wound by the time I'm done. That is amazing. It's the first time Steve and I have worked with lasers, but the advantages are many. Not only does it seal the skin as it cuts, but with no physical contact, there is no risk of contaminating the wound. Good, and just follow it right around the bottom. Okay, good, beautiful. Good job. Well, we're all finished. Um, before I put the laser away, does anybody have any tattoos you want me to take off? I do actually, one down here. A whole list of names all down that leg, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> <Crossed> <laughs> lines out, yeah. across. <laughs> <laughs>